A UART or Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter is a device built into many microcontrollers which is extremely useful for transferring data between devices. Most microcontrollers will have a hardware UART, however a lot of smaller or cheaper microcontrollers lack this hardware. If you lack a hardware UART or need more UARTs than the microcontroller has, you can implement a software UART. Generally the type of microcontrollers that lack a hardware UART will also have a limited amount of program memory. However, thanks to the very simple serial protocol, it can be implemented with only a few tens of bytes of memory. The protocol, as indicated by the name, is asynchronous. This means there's no separate clock signal. The lack of a clock signal can be really useful if you have limited pins on your microcontroller. The protocol is very simple. When no data is being transmitted, the line is held at a high level, which drops to a low level when a transmission starts. After this comes a number of bits, usually eight, then one or two stop bits. I'm going to use a cheap Chinese USB to UART converter for testing. You can find converters like this for around a dollar on eBay. Sending data is easy. You set the line low, wait a period of time, then loop each bit for a time period and send a stop bit when finished. Receiving is a bit more difficult. You have to wait for the start bit, then sample a line in the center of each data bit. Often your microcontroller will be doing other tasks. So that we don't have to keep checking for serial data in the main program, we can use an interrupt. An interrupt listens for certain events that can make the program jump to a piece of code. On the ATtiny, we can use a pin change interrupt that will trigger whenever a pin changes value. If an interrupt is triggered while dealing with another interrupt, it will be queued. As the pin will change during our interrupt, it will queue another one, so I'll need to clear this before exiting. You can use another kind of interrupt, a timer interrupt, instead of waiting for the next bit, which will let our program do some work while we're receiving data. I could use another timer interrupt for sending data, but it's not needed for my application. This is a very simplistic implementation, which will only work at lower data rates. I have not accounted for the time it takes my code to run, so the delay will be slightly longer than it should be. This will not affect lower data rates, but will cause problems with higher rates. This is fine for my application, which only uses fairly slow data rates. I made a simple test program that buffers 10 bytes of data, then outputs the buffer at the same rate. This works well at lower data rates, but if I use a higher data rate, errors will occur due to our simple UART implementation. Thanks for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot.